Okay, let's talk about it. We have a lot of 4K stuff coming up. And it's all extremely expensive. I'm just going to talk about the stuff I saw. I saw Seinfeld 4K, $250. Um, I did make a pre-order on it because this is a huge thing. It's a limited edition set. So after they sell it, um, it's probably it's going to be impossible to, to purchase. You're going to have to probably get it on eBay and spend a lot more than what it's worth. So get your pre-orders in while you can. Um, there's a Blu-ray version of it too. Um... So I'm thinking if they're selling it for a lot more than the Blu-ray, which I think the Blu-ray started at one fifty, there's gotta be a huge difference and have such a price difference. I gotta imagine. Um, I think you can send it back if it looks really bad, but I, um, I liked what Friends looked like. People com com a lot of people complained about Friends. I thought it looked pretty good for a um a sitcom on four K Dolby Vision. When I compare it to the Blu-rays I had. So I'll try that out. Seinfeld's a huge release that's going to be coming out. Then we have the two Star Wars TV shows. The Mandalorian Season 3 on Steelbook 4K. Unfortunately, um, I think it's just regular HDR again. Then you, have, then you have that new Star Wars show. I forgot what it's called. I never watched it on Disney Plus because I don't have it anymore. But um, I'm going to buy that too. Those are coming in right now as steel books for seventy five dollars and ninety nine cents a piece. Now I know that price is going to go down. There's no way they can sell an entire season for seventy five dollars. Do you know how insulting that would be if if you paid seventy five dollars? I think it's just going to stay like that for a little while. You got a whole month that's probably going to go down to. 45 or 50 bucks, but it's not going to be $75. That's outrageous. But 4K is not getting any cheaper. It's getting more expensive because nobody buys it. Someone made a comment on in Amazon. And I don't like this on Amazon. How the Amazon allows you to comment on, on it. Forgive me. I told you that there's this huge stuttering problem I have now. Um... On Amazon, you can comment on a product even if if it did if it did I studied again if it did not come out yet. I can't believe it. So it doesn't come out for two months, but you you can leave a comment. I it's bullshit. Someone left a comment and said, um, you know. This is an insult. I mean, not everyone has a 4K setup. There should be a Blu-ray release, too. Well, I got news for you. You know, physical media is, pr is pretty much completely dead now, almost. You're, we're lucky we get any releases at all for any TV show. And um, you're going to say, well, there's plenty of DVDs coming out for TV shows. That's true, but it's all random. Like, you have shows like Blue Bloods that... All the seasons are on DVD. NCIS, all the seasons are on DVD. But they ain't got shows like SWAT. They stopped selling them on DVD, at least in the U.S. I think they on some imports, they have SWAT for a TV show. But that that's beside the point. You know, these 4Ks are going to be a lot more money because it's more rare. You're lucky even getting them. Um... Unfortunately, you know, that's that. I also saw something for a Blu-ray for, um, what's it called? Through Mill Creek for, um, King of Queens. And I told you, Mill Creek sucks. Don't buy anything through that company. It's garbage. I already have a, a couple of shows from that. Miami Vice Airwolf almost had no HD element to it at all. I have Quantum Leap from them has no element at all. Um, I have um, Night Rider has no element at all. I'd rather watch the DVDs than watch the Blu-rays from Little Creek. That's how bad it is. So if you're a movie collector, make sure you stay away from Little Creek at all costs. Just watch the DVDs before you watch it through them. I'm serious about it. It pisses me the hell off that people consider that a real company because it's not. It's a shit company. A lot of their discs have been defective. I remember from um, 
they had something with Miami Vice. Um, a, a whole ep. I, was it the first episode? I can't remember. It was one of the first episodes. It was a glitch, and I lost twenty minutes of the episode. I was pissed off. But they, there's a lot of known glitches in their discs. Their quality's not top notch. They release a lot of shows, and it's just really an upscale. You're gonna say, well, you bought stuff like, um, Farscape, and I bought um, what's the other show called? Um, jeez, Stargate. I bought, and I bought um, what's the other one called? Jeez, um, <laughs> um, The Expanse. I bought all these different shows, but even if they look like they're just upscales, that's the best they offer. But, um, in, my, in, in this case, if I already own, I already own, um, what's it called? I already own Knight Rider on DVD, and when I bought it on Blu-ray, I didn't like the look of it. It looked like shit, so I decided that I wasn't gonna, um, pursue anything from Mill Creek anymore. They're awful. Um, The Shield came out on Blu-ray. I was so excited about it because The Shield was a really good show. Um, a lot of c cop corruption. They were in a bad neighborhood solving crimes and shit. Great show to watch. But Mill Creek made the Blu-rays and I said no way would I buy it. I'm never going to purchase a, a Mill Creek Blu-ray again. In fact, I um, I think I, I wasn't paying attention to a DVD I bought from them. From Best Buy, because I had like $10 left in, um, like, from, from a gift card I got from a, a laptop, um, refund I got. So, uh, what I did was, is I, um, there was only a couple of DVDs left on their website before they stopped selling movies. And Mill Creek were, and another shitty company were the only two movies left. So, those are the ones that I... That I bought. And that was the end of it. So I'm just saying you know. You, you, you just don't want to waste your time. With a company like Mill Creek. Buying. Buy them if they're from the original companies. Like Warner Brothers. Even though they're very defective too. Or Sony or Columbia Pictures. Or some regular company. Or CBS. Or someone that's doing the original. Don't have it being done by some third party shit company. Like, you, they did that for Magnum P.I., not the new one, the original one with Tom Selleck. Yeah, Tom Selleck. Um, the original, original Magnum P.I., that Blu-ray set was made by Mill Creek. Absolute dirt. Just buy the DVDs. You can you, in my opinion, for a lot of older shows, if you can't get it the right, the, the right way, Get the original DVD sets and just buy those and you'll be all set. Or you could buy the Mill Creek tapes and risk them freezing every five seconds. I can tell you, I've, I've had, when it comes to brand new stuff, um, the only real problems I had with Blu-ray sets were, um, was Game of Thrones and, um, who was it called? Um, the Star Trek Next Generation Blu-rays. But they gave me replacement discs for those, season one. And I had to take back a few seasons, too. But that's just to keep in mind what goes on. It's a real, real crazy, um, universe out there for 4K right now. I'm telling people to stay away from all these sets. Um, if you're buying for the first time, I, I think you're better off buying the DVDs too in some cases. Don't buy from Mill Creek. 4K is out of control right now. I don't know what to what advice to give people. It's it, it's an expensive hobby. You're going to have to spend a lot of money. And I don't I don't know what else what else to say. You, if you're going to get 4K, you have to get something with Dolby Vision, I would think. Yes, you know, Seinfeld's not in Dolby Vision, I don't think, but um, and neither is the Star Wars Steelbook, but a lot of movies are going to be in Dolby Vision, and you're going to want that. So, if you don't at least have a 4K television that's OLED, or at least one that has Dolby Vision that's worth, say, six, seven hundred bucks, it's not worth doing it. Don't go and buy a TV set that's $400 for 4K, 
in Stockholm buying all these crazy movies. It's not worth doing it unless you spend enough money on a good set. Alright, that's it. Bye-bye.